Hello and welcome to the X Review. My name is Paul, and today we're going to go over another overplayed song. Oh God, this is going to be this is going to hurt. This is going to really hurt. This was in the nineteen nineties, late nineteen nineties. I believe it was like ninety seven, maybe ninety six. Who knows? I try, I try to blot this out, but this song was played everywhere. They had a dance that everyone had to bloody do. And if you didn't, people would look at you and uh, think, what the fuck is wrong with you? Because they were that brainwashed by it. You're at a wedding, this song will come on. You're at a birthday, this song will come on. At a bar mitzvah, y this song will come on. At a fucking funeral, this song would fucking come on. Every shop, every bloody uh, restaurant, every takeaway gaff. Always on the bloody radio, on Capital FM back then, Radio 1, everywhere, you couldn't escape it, you couldn't escape it, that's how bad it was, it's enough to turn someone bald by ripping your fucking hair out, that's how bad this song is, it's Wigfield, Saturday night. What the fuck is that all about? What the fuck does that mean? I'm in my late 30s. I'm going to be turning 40 soon. I still don't get what the fuck that was all about. And that's a start. Oh, I can feel the rage just bubbling up right now. It's fizzing. My blood is boiling. <sighs> And it can't be a 90s song, a 90s cheesy song without a load of fucking reverb piled on your voice. No, this song drives people crazy, not you, love. One hit wonder, uh, this was a one hit wonder. And you have to understand why. This was played everywhere. She wore herself out in one goddamn song. No one wanted to hear her after. Plug it in! That's my nut in. No, the sun is driving me crazy! So Wigfield, but no, absolutely not. What I don't get, this is before internet, before broadband, yeah? And how did everyone know the bloody dance? I know the dance. I ain't going to do it though. I'm not going to degrade myself and lie myself to this. So how the hell did people know it? I can't even remember if it was televised. Probably. Because as soon as it would come up on Toilet Pod of Pops or even the chart show on ITV on a Saturday morning, that TV got fucking turned over. There, there were a few songs like that, of that calibre, when I was growing up, where uh, if it was on, it got turned off. And bear in mind, at that point, we only had four TV channels. Four. Cheap video to make. It's uh, just getting ready for a night out on our own. Minus the booze. Where's the fucking booze?
if you've enjoyed this video of me torturing myself, please hit like, subscribe and share. If you haven't already done so, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter and Gab. And we're also multi-platform, so you can find us on YouTube, BitChute, Rumble and Brand YouTube. Until next time guys, bye for now. Mm -hmm.